Hello, well, welcome back. Or if this is your first time here, my name is Sabrina with Simon Says Let's Make a Deal. And if you're interested in tonight's content and you like what you see, well, hit that like, the thumbs up for me. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you're new, subscribe to my channel. I am really itching to get those numbers up. So hit that bell and right next to it, hit all. So that you're always notified anytime I go live or anytime I put new content on my channel. Tonight, um, or well, I'm putting this on tonight, but you, I'm not sure when you'll be seeing it, what time of day it is. So what I'm doing is an unboxing and this is going to be Cricket's channel um, that sent me this great content. Um, I know it's a lot of uranium, not sure what else is in here, but it is six boxes, six full boxes, and I'm so excited to get into it. I have opened the top of some of the boxes, um, but that's it. So I'm going to go through it fast so that you don't, you're not just sitting here watching me unwrap and unwrap, um, but I'm super excited to get into it. Cricket has a great channel. It's called Cricket, K-R-I-C-K-E-T. Um, she does lives, uh, sales on Tuesday at 11 a.m., um, and that is Eastern Time, and on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please go and check her out. But before anything else happens, I, I, I will tell you it is all real right now. I have two dogs and two cats down here with me in the office. So if you hear a little bit of noise, I apologize up front, but I want to get into it. I'm excited. I've, I've been waiting 24 hours to make this video, and so I want to get into this. First, I see this. So I'm going to plow through this and see what it is. I do have a knife handy. I do have a box for trash. I'm going to pull a little closer. Let's see. I'm not ready for Christmas yet. I do have my tree up. I have some lights on it. I have some ribbon around it, but I don't have um, ornaments on it yet. And the reason being is because I was waiting for Cricut's boxes. I purchased some ornaments from her. I see a cord. And so I was waiting to put all of the ornaments on until after I got the ornaments from her. Because I got some special ones from her. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Now, my husband goes crazy over bubble lights. We have a set of bubble lights, but I knew when I saw this in her live sale that she would go, he would go crazy over it. So I had to purchase it from Cricut. And look at this. He's going to love this. Now, instead of wrapping it up and giving it to him for Christmas, he's, a, he's in Virginia this week. Um working and working on our house in Virginia to get it ready for sale or to, for it to be listed. So I'm going to surprise him and have this going when he comes home on Monday night. So that's going to be exciting. And I'm going to try to plug it up and let everyone see before we uh, finish this. Now I did open the box that these lights are not lights, but bulbs. Christmas balls were in and I have the box in my hand. I'm going to take the bubble wrap off so that everyone can see them. I'm excited to see them myself. Oh, look at these.
I like how they're all different. Now look at this one. It's like a light turquoise. turquoise. Oh, and look at this little gal that's hidden in there. They're just all different. This one has the indentation. And it swoops down like a little teardrop. This one's gold. Looks like a little snow on the top. These are all great. I'm not going to show you all of them. I know I have several boxes to get through. All right. Let me put those aside. And I'm going to show you another set. Now these are Christopher Radko. These are just gorgeous. And look at the box. I mean, the box is just stunning. That can just be a, dis a great display on its own. But look at some of these ornaments. And it says on the hanger, Radco Shiny Bright. I'm getting a little worried not testing these and just picking them up by the hanger. I'm going to hold them up like this until I test the hangers. Oh, now look at the little bell. These are wonderful. And the detail that they put in these, I mean, they're not just pretty, but they're just so detailed. They're just beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna put these up. I'm trying to show you just a little bit of everything because I do have many boxes to go through. Now there's a big piece in this box. So I'm going to pick it up. Excuse me for putting my back to you. This one's wrapped really well. It's got bubble wrap and paper, a lot of tape. I'm going to pull all this paper off. A little heater down here because it's in the basement and it gets really cold so I don't want to throw the paper or bubble wrap or anything on the heater now what about everyone tell me in the comments if how everyone is doing um, as far as your Christmas shopping and your decorating is everyone ready this year I am usually so ready by this point um, all I have left to do normally in past years is to wrap gifts by now. I am not ready at all. I'm not finished with Christmas shopping. Um, I usually have my tree done. Um, nothing. I'm not ready at all. So you have to tell me. Are you behind? Are you ahead of the game? Sorry about all the noise, guys. Pulling all that tape off. Oh, now I can see that 
And you know what? I did not bring my light down. I forgot my black light. Look at this. A cookie jar. And look at the size. This is awesome. And she had told me that she was worried about this piece because it was so big. She put it in the box by itself. And I'll check to see if there's anything in there. But it's so massive. It is really big. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Oh, she did put something in here other than paper. That was a smart cookie of her, huh? To put something in the cookie jar. Save space. Let's see what's in here. Sorry about the noise. It's tape. And I'm going to have to run up real quick and get my black light that I left on the kitchen counter. You know, don't you leave yours on the kitchen counter? Isn't that where you store yours? Oh, the log. Now, if you watch her channel, you should have seen this because she was keeping her um, jewelry in this during her live sales as her jewelry sold um, or while she was selling her jewelry she was keeping her jewelry in this and pulling her jewelry out as she showed it now isn't this a wonderful piece of uranium look at the feet on it and I bet this baby glows there's so many lights in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to really show how well it glows. But I'm going to run up really quick and get that black light. And I will be right back. All right. And I'm back. Didn't take very long, did it? All right. Let me turn some light off here and look at that baby glow all right and let's check out this cookie jar now I didn't take all the paper out but you can see that it glows this is magnificent and if you know me, you know how much I love uranium. All right, let's grab another box. Okay. We're just going to tear this plastic wrap right off. And again, I apologize about the noise of the plastic and the tape. I just wanted to share this with you all. And share her channel. She sells some great things. And she wraps beautifully. All right. Now... Almost to the bottom. And the dogs are over there laying on their bed. You have to have a bed upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> okay, for the final reveal. Look at this. I love the etching. Now, I don't know what design this is, but look at that. This is just, well, I've got my fingerprints all on it now, but this is a beautiful plate platter. 
Look, and it's glowing without any light on it. Look at that. Look at that piece. I'm going to have to do a separate video just to show you all. I'm going to flip this over here. And now I'm rolling over the bu bubble wrap. I'm going to have to do a separate video to show you all of my Vaseline and uranium pieces. I have two cabinets and it's full. Well, they will be after this. <laughs> Now that I've got two cats that are in here too, but they're going in and out, in and out. The story with the two cats, we um, found them, they were only a couple of days old. They were less, definitely less than a week. And we found them in our barn right after we, we bought the property. And they're, unfortunately their mother had sacrificed herself to another animal to save her kittens. And um, so the two kittens were whining and, and hungry and crying and poor little things. Fortunately, it was summertime, so they had survived. And uh, we started bottle feeding them. They were too, even too little to take the little bottle. So we started with a syringe and some kitten formula and then um, moved up to the bottle. And a couple of months later, they're big and strong. We play and wrestle together and we have an appointment to get them fixed uh, in January. I'm praying that that's not too late, but that was the first available appointment. Oh my goodness, look at this piece. This was beautiful when she had it showing, but it's even better in person. And look at the etching on this. This is a stunner of a piece. Wow. Sorry for keep bending over and hiding myself, but I'm sitting it down and picking up other pieces. Now I'm unwrapping another piece. I just don't want to make the, the video too, too long. And then you get bored with me. But we do have a lot of pieces to go through. Let's see what this is. She wraps so nicely. And this is a flower frog. And my guess is it sits down inside that piece. We'll see if it goes with anything else. And if not, I'm thinking it sits down inside that piece. should plug this snowman up to get him warm and ready. I 
I just can't wait to see all these pieces. <laughs> I don't know how I waited the 24 hours. Now look at this. Look how this changes color. This is very interesting. This is very, very cool. Do you see the color change? If I'm not mistaken, there's another piece in there that goes with this. Let me check. opening another box. Ooh, we have a Christmas card. Oh, and I forgot to show you, this came out of that too. It's a candle snuffer. And isn't that darling? Very pretty. It's a poinsettia. I love that. Oh, here's a big piece. Let's open this up. Just cutting the tape. I hope no one's sensitive to that sound. Okay, now I'm down to the paper. So anyone have any great requests for a Christmas gift this year? I'd love to hear that too. Oh, wow. Let me get the tape off of this. She's got the lid taped to the jar. Great idea. love this piece. Look at this. These pieces are glowing without a light. This is beautiful. And this is just a little bit of tape residue. That's all that is. I can get that off easy. Look at that. The whole thing just lit up. These pieces are gorgeous, and it's going to go with my collection so nicely. I can't wait for you to see my whole collection. I'm going to finish putting, fixing the rest of my tree, and then I will show you. I'll put it on Instagram and maybe even do a video about it. I just wish I knew all the patterns, and I... I did at one point, you know, when I purchased some most of the pieces. I didn't know all of them, but I knew most of them. And I should have written them all down. You know, maybe labeled the bottom of the pieces. That's what I wish I had done. Or put a little piece of paper in the cabinet with them. With each individual piece. But I think sometime after Christmas, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look them up, research them. Oh, these are so sweet.
so delicate. Got three of these. These are the pieces that you put on the candle holders. They're um, drip. Can't remember what they're called, but they're to catch the wax. These are very sweet. And look at these. Turn completely green. And I have three of them. Very nice. Let's go on to another item. So, how about that one item that you just are dying to have for Christmas. Tell us all what it is. Or that one item that you're dying to buy for someone. My, my children are 20, 19, and just turned 23. And the 23-year-old always waits until a week before Christmas. And then it takes forever to find the item that he wants. If I can find it at all. So then if I can't find it, I feel awful. I've opened one, but it's got a match because it's a set. So I'm trying to open its mate. It might not look like I'm opening these easy, but I really am. a little bit on the tape. All right, now these are gorgeous. But I wanted you to see the overlay on them. Look at these candle holders. And look at that overlay. Maybe something lighter. There you go. Isn't that pretty? And of course, these glow as well. This is my favorite thing to collect, is something that glows. Whether it be a compote, a jar, or a piece of jewelry. All right, we've done four boxes and we've got two left. So just hang in there with me. Because we're over halfway done. And we'll be just fine if I don't cut my fingers off with the knife. That was a joke. I forgot to open this box. All right, it's open. All right, just need to get the plastic wrap off. You know, I have plastic wrap and I've never used it. How many of you are resellers that have used the plastic wrap? I'm always worried it's not going to be enough. But in this case, she's done a fabulous job with it.
Oh, look at this beautiful deer. Uh, it says Artistic Gifts Incorporated, Taiwan. Very pretty doe. And if I'm not mistaken, there's another one. I could be mistaken. We'll, have, we'll just have to see. This is moving along quite quickly. Look at this Santa with his sack. Now I can put some stuff in there. Dress this up a little bit. This is as cute as it comes. Look at that. So cute. And yes, I did purchase other than, I did make purchases other than uranium. <laughs> bottom of this one. Oh, one more lo layer of plastic wrap. Next time I'm going to have to just take some of this off so that you're not just sitting there watching me unwrap. Let me just cut some off. There we go. All right, and what is this? And this is a buck. Look at how cute that is. And you can put a candle in there. That is precious. A little holly around his neck. One more thing on this side. Now it does have certificate of authenticity to something. I'm going to have to find out what that goes with. At least this plastic wrap comes off quickly and easily. long as you find the end, it's quick and easy. There we go. All right. Now, is anyone else confused about the weather as I am? Are you as confused about the weather as I am? Now, the last couple of days, it has been for the high, it has been in the low 20s. Now, it is Thursday for me right now. And Saturday is supposed to be in the 60s. <laughs> so I'm a little confused. Now look at this. My husband is going to love me in Cricut. Some more bubble lights. He loves those. And she tucked a lot of things in this box. We're at 34 minutes. I don't want to go over 40. So I'm going to need to kick it up a little bit. Oh, this goes in here. That is cute, and you put the little candle in there. Oh, I remembered this. I was going to put it on the door. 
cats are going to have fun with this, though, aren't they? That is cute. All right, let's see what this one is. Oh, I remember this. This is the spoon, the mayonnaise spoon. So we still have to open that one. And this glows. So we still have to open the mayonnaise dish. And this is a set of bubble lights. I'm going to do something with these and hang these up. They say Noel. Well, maybe if I hang them up right. They say Noel. These were cute. I loved them when I saw them. I love trees and this tree I knew I had to have it when I saw it I have a collection of bottle brush trees newer and old and this is gonna go great with my collection isn't this just great this is one of the older ones that is going to go perfect See, she sells, Tri Cricket sells, um, I gotta say Trisha. Trisha does too, from San Dionato. Um, they both do such a great job selling a variety of items. I enjoy both of them. And Trisha, I've done an unboxing for Tr uh, Trisha as well, and I watch her. I try to watch her every Saturday night. I don't always get her Wednesday. Um, the time, I just miss it sometimes. But I really love Trisha, and she's a huge help. She has helped me a great deal on my channel. Um, and she is um, Sandy and Otto. And then I got this book, Rudolph, the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's an old book. And it's not in the best condition, but I love Rudolph. So anything I see in Rudolph, I try to pick up. Hence the deer. I love deer. All right, and we're down to one box, and it's a small box. So I think we can do that in less than five minutes and then wrap this up. So, we are almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Just stick with me just a couple more minutes. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you liked the unboxing video, and you want to see more content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe so that you don't miss more videos and you don't um, miss a live. I do lives on this channel every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, sometimes I'll do a pop-up. Um, sometimes I'll do something with someone else. So you don't want to miss any of that. So when you subscribe and click the bell there's also options right next to it so you want to click all otherwise you won't get all notifications all right almost down to the bottom on this one and there's only a couple of things in this box look at this piece and the etching on it look at that in the corners it's a flower 
This is a beautiful piece. See how that glows? Look. And I turned my extra lights off so that you can see when something glows. So I apologize if the lights aren't bright enough any other time. Let me grab another piece. We're right at 40 minutes. We only have a couple of more pieces to open. Oh, we have this beautiful glass. <laughs> Look at the glow on that. Okay, it looks like two more. This one and one more. So I hope everyone's having a good day so far. And if you're not, close your eyes. Keep them closed for about five seconds. Breathe in. Take a deep breath, blow it out, open your eyes, and maybe you'll have a different perspective on your day. And then tomorrow will be a better day. It'll be a new day, either way you look at it. So maybe it'll be better. I'm out to the last piece. And it is shaped a little funny. So I have no idea. Shaped like this. So I have no idea what this is. But it has a lot of wrapping material on it. Let's see what it is. I'm off with the first two layers. Oh, wow. I see part of it, and it's glowy. And look at this. Check that out. Wasn't that worth the wait? Yes, it was. I'm going to set it down because it's pretty heavy. All right, I'm just going to double check in the box, make sure that was everything, and yes, it was, and then I'm going to put this spoon in here, sit this down, and get one thing that I didn't show you. And I'm sorry for you seeing the back of me and the back of my head so much. Just in this chair at the desk and I have boxes all around me. And But this I had taken out of the box right before I went live when I was opening the boxes. And I wanted to show you this right before I went. And this says Museum, Museum Thomas Series. Beautiful box. I'm going to open it and show you what's inside without dropping anything. But that's what's inside. And then there's ones underneath. But I got that from Cricut as well. 
everything arrived beautifully. Everything was wrapped beautifully. And I can't wait to go put these ornaments on my tree and put the rest of the ornaments that my family has had for years. And then um, add this great glowy glass, this uranium and Vaseline to my cabinets. But first of all, um, I want to thank you all for watching my video and um, coming on to my channel to begin with. I'm sorry this has went so long, but I wanted to get it all in one video. So thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. And thank you. Just thank you. Uh, you don't know how much I appreciate you coming to my channel and, and um, sharing this with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And bye-bye.